Greetings. Let's check this out. Danger lurks around every corner. What happened to my forest? Prowler! Freeze! I hate 20 second clips. Danger lurks around every corner. What happened to my forest? Prowler! Freeze! Yeah, where's Tornado May the Chuck? prosperity granted to the Eternal Empire remain forevermore, ensuring our descendants have the means to return to greatness! I hope you're not afraid of a little dirty work. <laughs> Sanctum Part 2. To be the number one. Oh god, not the two hour video back. again. And then I'm gonna set up the uh, reunification as the number five button on my numpad. Hey, the Hello and welcome back to Diablo What do we got 4. here? Anything oh. good? No. Frosted mini weeds. Cereal. Alright, I'm out of videos. Maybe I'll watch this. I don't know what this game actually looks like. Hello everyone, my name is Hideaki Itsuno, and I'm the director of Dragon's Dogma 2, and I'm producer Yoshiaki Hiramayashi. Dogma 2 is a narrative-driven, open-world, action RPG yeah, set leave. in an immersive fantasy world. 
We hope players feel like they've been reborn in this vibrant new world. Join forces with pawns skilled with various weapons to form a party of up to four. While this is a single player game, forming parties will recreate the feel of being on an adventure with friends. Players will encounter legendary monsters as they venture through the distinct areas of the game. Some monsters fly through the air with dynamic attacks, while others are more cunning and mysterious. This video is shit quality. Some appear at night, and others are colossal in nature. They will create a variety of challenges for the player. Test your decision-making ability and creativity using your vocation and the surrounding environment. Of course, you can always choose to run away. If you run somewhere occupied by other characters, you may end up naturally joining forces. But reactions will vary character to character. It's an AI Some narrator. will be frightened, while others will show courage. Their relationship with you, the Arisen, will vary based on the actions you take. That, in turn, will change their relationships with each other. A variety of characters await you on your journey through Dragon's Dogma 2. Over 1,000 characters inhabit the world, each with their own real thing. Item. Yeah, it looks like a Dark Souls menu. It might be to make a counterfeit item. The the Arisen. Starting. Mop. Nap time. No. It looks like when I'm zoomed out like this, it looks like I have like a, a bowl cut. I'm like a seven year old skater man. Pretty sweet.
Time to die in empowered monoliths. Try the new climbing game. Mm. I don't know. No, I'll probably play Tekken a little bit tonight. I said Pinnacle Boss is his next cycle. Actually, I did cancel my escape, so... Hey, thanks for that 38-year resub, Emily. She gleeping on my glop till I nop. That's true, thanks to 34 Prime Gwenlin. Played POE, how'd that go? to do my fucking challenges. No, 
not really feeling it though. Yeah, but the challenge rewards are actually cool to see. Oh shit, a golden cap a train. Thanks for the T1 sub potatoes. How many left? Like at the purple health bar? I don't know, probably like 20. <laughs> I mean, they're pretty fast this league. It'd only take me a day or two, but. I do not like challenges. You've got mail. Why would you put lightning arrow in your title when we clearly see you're using burning arrow and then galvanic arrow right after just to end up swapping to rain of arrow and yet you end up with ZDPS needing a totem set up to do any damage to bosses. I hate this meta where it's acceptable now for every content creator to title same. slash thumbnail bait with garbage tricks like this. Do better. That's a, that was an old one. Yeah. I hope so. Square up with them. I wonder how many people are going to that. Seems like a lot. Fire, cold fires, frost guard. Seems like they invited like a ton of people. Did they? I mean, I saw them inviting so, like on Twitter some random ass people who I don't, I've never seen them even think about Poe. Like some random ass people that aren't even like huge creators. It's weird. What if there's like a hundred people there? Copy my survey. I don't know. Should be pretty cool though. I 
I hope. It's cool. No, it's in like a week. No, hydrohedron sucks. By sucks, I mean there are better options now. The vent is not four days, it's one day. Only one day, that's why I'm... a lot of people didn't want to go. Though I convinced some people to go. <laughs> Cause they're gonna be on like a 17 hour flight. The event's like four hours and then they leave again. I mean, I'm if I dude, if it was like a twenty-hour flight, and the, I, I would if it was a twenty-hour flight, I don't think I would go. I think most people who are going, their planned flight's gonna be longer than the event itself. PUE2 event thing, which GGG has never mentioned, so I'm wondering if it was even supposed to be mentioned. <laughs> GG hasn't mentioned it in public, but a few creators did, and then the floodgates were open. I'm curious if it's supposed to be public or not. Help with travel costs. They fully cover it. You think they'd reach out and be like, hey, do you want to pay for your full trip to come over here and play this game for four hours?
pretty cool how many people they're inviting. Even the some smaller creators. So Z deeps, dude. the deep start the ramp soon because I wonder uh, how many people are playing this game still 150 that's pretty good that's pretty good Considering how many issues launch had, that's pretty good. Did they buff lightning blast and discharge? No idea. Was it lacking from PoE endgame? Probably has about 8% of this content. Yeah, hard boss is a part of it. I don't know, there's a few hard bosses, but not hard in the right way. Like, Jalra is pretty hard, but it's because you can't fucking see shit in that fight. <laughs> I don't know. 
next cycle should, uh... I don't know if it's just one boss they're gonna release, but I hope it's like three. Or one really hard one would be fine. I can use my twisted fart now. Yeah, I don't know why every game has to call their shit different. Do I have any relics to LP this? Uh, kinda. Oh, 80. I need to do T4 Jara for that. That is never happening. <laughs> for a long time, anyways. Season league <laughs> season. Cycle makes me think of laundry. We're entering the rinse cycle. Oh wait, is that is that laundry or dishwasher? Or both. Eh, it's probably both.
All right, ramping. I played period two at XL Con. Um, I mean, I think the way they usually do betas like this is uh, buy a sporter pack, get access. I don't think it has to do with their past ones. J Funk Lord. I don't. I don't know about the AI today. It's a... Holy shit, sometimes these things are just in the world. I can't even get past it. Dude. Wait, I can't... Wait, I can't start it. Holy, that's pretty good. That was sweet. Yeah, or the mobs ran away and aren't ever gonna find me.
Watch this. Everyone's close. Thanks for the beef. Is this dual stream? Yeah, Twitch and YouTube. Eighteen fully clothed cowboys in the showers at Ram Ranch. Hey, thanks for the raid, Steel. Nice ducks. Thanks to the prime axis. arrive. I forgot to grab the horns and I'm lazy to get up. Alright, my damage is tolerable now. It was pretty bad before. It's tolerable for now. If I go up like 30 corruption, I think it's going to be really bad again. He thinks for the prime night tremors. One day I have to nerf the XP totem shit with Circle of Fortune. This is Lightning Blast, Rune Master. No, I don't have a guide out for this, but you look up lightning blast, there's like a fucking two-hour documentary somebody made on this build. <laughs> um, I should probably auto-cast my invocation now, now that I have a good cast speed. Thanks for the prime delusional. <laughs> Lo fi guides to fall asleep, too. Hey, that'd be a good video, actually. That would be pretty good. Yeah, but who watched the Rage Gaming D4 Gauntlet video? Time to log in. You 
You've got mail. Hey, thanks for the thousand bits, Ms. Gertie. Yeah, I think that guy's got to be the worst YouTube channel I've ever seen. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, there's like three of them or something. They're all like... <laughs> <laughs> like the alter egos of each other. Where do uh, okay, speaking of spoons, where do I go to farm them? What's the best place? Apparently some monoliths. Have one at the start a lot. Kitchen. Actually, my spoon drawer is empty right now. I don't know, somebody said that some monoliths, like, have a... have a exiled mage at the start a lot, and you can just keep resetting it. No guide for me. Um. There's something I was gonna do, and I don't remember. Something about intelligence, I think. Hmm. Hmm. Nope, it's gone. The gone arena that can spawn, you just keep resetting, but it's boring I have to do. Well, farming spoons is miserable in general, so... It's gotta be better than doing random unempowered monoliths, because spoons don't drop in empowered monoliths for whatever reason. So I'd rather get it over with.
Was it Women's Day like two days ago or something? I don't know, I don't keep track of shit like that. I think it's stupid. Yeah, I just need to get a spoon with cast speed. That's all I need. I don't care about like getting three perfect stats or whatever. Just take some more cast speed. Although mine isn't bad. Get a new amulet. IRL spoon with eating speed. Yeah, that sounds OP. I like how every time the DJ is introducing a song or whatever today, it's like, it's kind of, I don't know, kind of, I don't know, something. He's got to get some confidence. He's having cast speed and spell crit. I think it's worth rolling over the crit for multi. Yeah, I think, I mean... Spell crit chance doesn't seem very good on this build because you get pretty close to cap anyways if you just hold down right click. Enough pass speed you will hit cap. I mean, uh, I don't think it's bad in the beginning, but as you get better gear, well, it'll end up as a useless stat. What build would get someone into PoE? I don't know. Personal question. Everybody has different tastes. I rate the game? 5 out of 10. Five out of ten. Four out of ten when it does something stupid to me. Which is pretty often. But usually a five out of ten. When something stupid happens, it drops a point. I usually finish campaign at like level forty ish. Depending how safe I'm trying to be. Well, depends on what you mean by finished campaign. There's two answers to that. And the answer is either 40 or 80. Yeah, no, the, the bugs hold the game back a lot.
What type of bugs? I don't know. Think of something, name it, it's probably in the game. All of them. Wide variety of bugs. Holy shit, the damage sucks. I wanna go back to Warlock. I've never seen a build actually use spears now that I think of it, but... Holy fuck, dude, my damage is so bad. I was using orbs, but it feels like shit to play. No, it's easy to make your own. Firebrand. Hmm, I have any good damage chess pieces? God, the search function is so bad. At least it exists. I don't think I have any.
I don't know. I've never seen a... What's it called? Spear build. I hope they don't end up nerfing that two-handed bug shit. I think if they do, I just... I think I'm done for the cycle. Season Cycle League. Stupid names. You can equip a two-hander with the shield slash catalyst. they fix that, they should fix the profane veil shit. Let's see. Ya. Let's give it a whirl. <laughs> my offhand, my catalyst is over there. That kind of makes me want to switch back to Plasma Orb. Should I swap back to Plasma Orb? This build's pretty painful. Yeah, look up Lightning Blast Guide. Two hour documentary login. I do want to do a lightning frost claw build, but I want to get the gear first. So do they do weird shit? Yes. Sure do.
more than trying to do for propane valve users. Yeah. This is very noticeable. Now base ward gain is definitely not worth. What was I using on my own pen? Yeah, I just didn't have one. Mm, that one's not too bad. I know there's actually a two hour guy. <laughs> yes, there is. Log in. Yeah, who's going to top that? Oh my god, respecting. So annoying. Why can't I just respec in my window? Why do I have to go to an NPC? Oh shit, is this a Carl Weezer song? I think it might be. I'm not sure though.
feel the way. I don't know, I'll try Plasborg again if I can't stand it still. I think I, I'll try the Lightning Claw shit and see how painful that is without gear. Yeah, I don't know. It's tough playing builds after playing the like three most OP things in a row. <laughs> that might have been a mistake on my part. I swapped the I did to fix my mana, maybe that's good enough. Yeah, okay, that should be good. Should be good. Explosive trap with the nation arrow. Yeah, people have wildly different um, interpretations of what is good in this game. That's pretty good. All right, here we go. Back to balls.
Alright, I think I'm sick of it already. Alright, Frost Claw. Let's try Frost Claw. Nope, I I think that's it. I've never I can't play a build that I have to do combos like that. Maybe. I really don't want to level a new character though. I am not looking to start a new character. If they fix it, they fix it. If they don't, they don't. I suppose. I don't know. I think I'm burning out on this game. I'm just pain champing whenever I need to do anything. <laughs> it might be time. Top 10 Diablo Gauntlet, it's time to log in. This <laughs> is not going to be good. How many maps do you think this lasts?
I don't even know if it's gonna make it the map, so I'm gonna be real with you. I don't know if this is even making it. <laughs> My motivation is plummeting rapidly. Motivation disappearing. Wait, how do I cast my frost guard with this build? I guess wall flame dash wall. Ugh. That doesn't sound like fun. that bad actually not that bad rune master made you reroll twice yeah that's basically the point of it the unique claw for f unique dagger for flaw well, I don't know I'm worrying about my skills first but I've never seen that I've never seen anybody use it either, so probably not. Oh, what is this thing? Cast lightning blast on crit. Good question, Dialog. Uh yeah, it seems pretty good. I don't know, everybody just uses a spoon. Well, this is gonna be something. Thanks for the eight month prime, Mr. Holiday. Um Alright, who knows this build? Where does how does lightning blast play into this? Do you still do lightning blast for single target or something and this thing for clear or the other way around? Someone's got to know. Lightning Blast applies the damage, not doing damage. Rock on.
Oh yeah, where do I get spark charges from? Unless I, you mean I use lightning thing for the buff. I use lightning blast for buff and then after I buff myself up I go frost claw. Let me look what this guy does. That's what I don't understand. It's like nothing. Alright, if someone says dagger again, I'm gonna lose it. So far, no... No person I have seen has used dagger. The catalyst. Applies it. But wait. Okay, but this doesn't even scale. This only scales spark charge from lightning blast. Hmm. <laughs> really just to get this buff like twice? I mean, I guess if there's nothing better to use... Wait, why, well, why wouldn't you use Flame Ward over that? The but the node all the way right is generic charge damage. You mean that one? Is the text lying? I think I just do- well, I already have flame ward. Yeah, why the fuck would I have lightning blast? Weird. Yeah, I'm not gonna cast it ten times to get lightning agus though. That sounds awful. But maybe, I guess. Yeah, 
Yeah, wait, isn't my- the Aegis will just get popped from... Twisted hard or my HP just draining. All right, well. Well, time to do a map and quit the game. You ready to watch me tickle a monster to death? Oh wait, that shit's probably need to be respec now. See what happens. Time for death. I'm not getting baited, I just hate the other build, I hate that other build, so I'm gonna hate this build and then I'm gonna quit the game because I played all the builds that don't feel like shit already. Well, most of them, like 80%. Oh, I'm tickling them all right. All right, there goes my mana. All right, I don't know. Do I do I do one last character and try and do a two-handed bug shit? Maybe. Let me look at two-handers and see what a good two-hander is, and then I'll quit the game after I do the two-hand bug. Although I do want to make a build with Aurelis too. Shit. What does this look like? Holy fucking widescreen. <laughs> Two handers. Two handed battle mage with the catalyst. Gray, more lightning blast. Well, you see, does Marksman Detonate Arrow take advantage of the two-handed bug? Oh. 
I've not tried a racing strike. It looks like a racing strike uses a two-hander. Uh, let me look at a list of two-handers. I think a racing strike is fine. Issue is no war generation. Two-hander to abuse. Yeah, but these moths seems pretty juiced, eh? I haven't picked up any of them? Did I even gotten a single... LP one? I would have picked up an LP one. Well. Hmm. I don't know a character. Seems like Apathy's Ma is pretty thick, so maybe something with that. No, I'm screw Necro. I don't know. I don't think I have any two-handers. I 
Oh, 250 void damage. I don't know. I don't really have interest in playing a build that's gonna get to like 300 corruption and die. Did I say thanks name on three sub, Mr. Holiday? No, I did. No. Uh, yes. <laughs> I guess so. I don't know. Let me look at that build again, again. Do you have the link to that <coughs> other video? Flem ball. Ball of phlegm. Who's got the, the detonating arrow video link that I lost? Found it. Wait, no, I didn't. Who's got it? Thanks. we working on the loot filter for you guys for the early game. Juicy. Yeah, not even a two hour video. Come on. Yeah, that's pretty big damn. Could be a contender, and it's rogue, so it won't be annoying to level. I think I'd be okay with leveling a rogue. Yeah, it's explosive trap. 
gel cores, I guess. Look at the up isn't jalking like some shit where you so shove ideally, something in your me. ass or something? Why does that sound familiar? <laughs> what is that? It's cock lengthening. The critical strike multipliers, so then it can be increased lining damage percentage, or this can be increased flat lining damage. You can then 400 corruption, close to 1,500 corruptions. And during the testings, there's a lot of feedback from the Chinese community as well as regards to what is going to be the best stats for his build and also what is going to be the best thing that you can adjust for. So we have fine to solve the mistakes or the misunderstandings to solve the scaling and also adjusted the build for even more damage. So in the first part of the video, of course, I'll still demonstrate so, uh, does this one, is this abusing a bug? Is that why it's good? <laughs> it's the build as he cruised through his way with 1,300 corruption. And you can see the no? build is still very speedy. The build is very powerful. And the build is great. I'll be providing you with some additional information and lots of, you know, frequently asked questions and also update with the build on the first part. And we also have lots of notes on the second part. Now, because you guys have seen the instant kill with Jura, and also you might have seen the previous kills with the Shade Boss with, you know, 1,200, 1,300 corruptions, yes, the build is still amazing. Yeah, I mean, that's true, level Clint, dungeons. but... What we're trying to do is, we're trying to make ourselves do even more damage and also retaining more durability for the build. All right, it's um, it's defense ain't looking too hot unless this is wrong. I like get rid of one of these and use cradle. Uh, yeah, probably. I don't know, let me go make some food and uh, ruminate on this. I'll be back. You know what I didn't know? Just how much microplastic comes out of your wheels in a car just for driving for a little bit. Like apparently, I, I glued somebody, super glued somebody to my car tires and when I was done doing my grocery session, they were dead. I did not know it was that dangerous.
Alright, pretty good. Is that good? 2 LP, whatever that thing is. That's gotta be good, right? Hey, Bone Clamber with LP, the gods have heard my prayers. It's time to hit minion life on it. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Minion health. I'd be fine with bleed duration too. It chose the worst one. That one is literally useless. Easily defeated. Oh, that's huge. How's my movement so fluid? Expert hand movement. Holy. Come on, give me the LP exsanguinous. It's the last LP thing I need. No! That was so close! That could have been an exsanguinous. If this is the worst wording I've ever seen. I mean, it's fine if it's an axe, but this is the worst wording I've ever seen. When a bleed stack speed is double, its duration is halved, and its damage per second is doubled. <laughs> Let's see how much ward I get. much the best thing. How mad are you people who are farming this? How mad are you that I just got that first try? Hey, only five more years and my Steam account will be older than Leonardo DiCaprio's girlfriends. Ooh! Big juice! Finally. Here we go! I hit it. GG. I didn't know it took both of them. Vortex Pendant, 3 LP. Is that good? Ooh, finally got a double health idol. Been trying to get one of those forever. I don't even think it's better than this ward retention one. Because of the way this works. Ooh, 67, that's what I needed. That, sh that should be enough. That should be enough. Ooh, speaking of judgment, 2 LP hand of judgment. Wait, this movement ability can go through these doors. Holy shit, this is the best build in the game. Okay, maybe they just, they just hot fixed it. All right, it's been hot fixed, I guess. I can't do it anymore. Completely. What the f is different? I probably should have pulled out there, but that's greedy. Ooh, two LP exsanguinous. That's large. Save that for a future build. Boom, 100. Dude, XP books are so OP. Yeah, I mean, I think from, from now on I'm definitely putting the builds together on Last Epoch Tools because, uh, Max Roll Sight is kind of scuffed for it. Now what do I do? I push corruption and die. Whoa, that does a lot of damage. That is ticking me for like 10k walk. <laughs> Limit tested complete. Ooh. 3 LP Acid Flask Dagger. Is that dagger actually used? I kind of want to make it an Acid Flask build. Is that good? Highest. My god, look Where's at that. My... 
fucking map on the gauntlet that quit. As as That's my last epoch map. Is and you get a cash just for running the gauntlet every time. You know, a small amount of items. Just to say like, hey, I hate this dungeon. It's the worst. But finally an upgrade. Pretty large. Naive, perhaps. Huh. I died today. Lucky, I guess. <laughs> Pretty sure if that wasn't fizz cap, that was a death. Just trying to read this shit, make sure I didn't miss anything. <laughs> Ability left to right. What does that mean? I returned. Who up joking they shit right that now? That is so weird. They're gonna make me change my. I mean, I guess it ends on my left, my right click anyway, so it's fine, but. What the hell? My smoke bomb screen shakes, but this doesn't? Are you fing kidding me? Oh. Yeah, well, I've said that before I was getting mad at the game. Hey, you weren't watching nothing. Now you're about to watch something even hey guys, better. And welcome back to Rage Gaming. Today we're talking about Last Epoch from the perspective of a deep on lifts and the infinite and welcome back to rage gaming today we're talking about last epoch from the perspective of a diablo 4 player that's the first arpg i really got into i'll only really dabbling in others until now that without explains diablo a 4 lot it's gone i found myself craving better showings of the genre checking out other games like yeah poe but of course with last epoch finally releasing into 1.0 i and many other people jumped into the game for the first time now it's been a few weeks so what are we thinking to cut to the chase i think last epoch is a great arpg that it offers so much of what Diablo 4 is lacking, but also not too intense on the details and the requirements compared to PoE and, you know, the builds in that game. It has a proper end game with a variety of options for progression, unique systems to the game. No, it doesn't have a proper end game. Organization and crafting tied to that and more. But obviously not it's not perfect. Start. It's built by a small team that built this up over years. And they're competing against a triple-A mammoth that is Diablo. So there are actually some things that I think are better in Diablo, though... Not a lot. So today, let's talk about some of the best aspects of Last Epoch and also where I find it lacking in comparison with Diablo 4. Right off the bat, though, it's the end game. A big topic and one I could go into serious detail over, so I'm trying to be concise. And the fact is, Diablo 4 did not launch with one. The game simply ended once you reached a complete build and their way around that, I guess, but in Last Epoch isn't like that. I don't understand. Was to have ridiculous XP requirements so most people didn't even reach level 100. Ridiculous end, XP requirements. To it took like less than a fucking day with the dungeon shit, dude. Oh, I didn't mean to open that kills and maybe tier 100 clears. Now eventually we did have some new bosses added, ways to target farm gear instead of true RNG. We had the mess of the abattoir as another endgame system. And now we have the gauntlet, which is genuinely good. It's a clever showing of... They have... This guy's last video is like... This guy's literally his last video was the gauntlet is garbage. 
different mechanics that are already in Diablo used to create a new game mode with some good interest. There's a deadline, set objectives, a set map, and various sections of higher or lower value, making use of shrines to create new mechanics, like intentionally respawning the enemies. It's all good, and it's gonna change regularly to set a new challenge to overcome. So that's basically become the goal of our end game, right? Pushing the gauntlet score as high no, as you can. No, isn't the gauntlet only like fucking it's not even end game shit, it's like tier 70 or something, isn't it? By using the best build and playstyle you can create. Unfortunately, with the heavy imbalance of the classes and the way things like Uber Uniques aggressively influence player or power, you're that. encouraged to, yet yeah, play the strongest class rather than what you may want to, and also farm drill kills so you have the Ubers required to get a competitive score. So if you're going to do that, you have to do incredibly boring content for an extended unknown period of time. Good luck with that. That's not good, that's really bad. So Last Epoch's main endgame system has been a breath of fresh air in comparison, and the main one is obviously monoliths, which serve up tons of variety of what you're doing as you clear them out. The setting, the enemies, the threats in terms of say resistances, the objectives within each current echo, it changes in some minor and also major ways. You'll get a boss thrown at you during the echo clear, and when you face the final challenge of the current monolith, you get an even bigger one. And even then, progressing through echo to echo, you get to decide what path you're going to take, what challenges you're going to choose to take on or ignore, and what the rewards are that you're actually going to target. And eventually, how far will you push the corruption? Corruption compared to Diablo's Nightmare Dungeon difficulty tiers is a valid comparison. You're pushing the challenge as the number goes up. But where Nightmare Dungeons simply end at tier 100, corruption is technically endless. Meaning when you find yourself clearing a tier 100 fine in Diablo 4, that- Yeah, what is that? I think there's three of them. One of them talks way too fast. One of them talks in like the weirdest way possible. This guy, at least he talks normally. That's it. While with Last Epoch's corruption being endless, you can push it as far as your build can physically handle it. So how good is your build truly? You can test it by seeing how far you can go with the corruption. And also there's this kind of infinite scaling of the item rarities for your drops, so the reward is actually there continually. However, on your way to that concept to actually push corruption, things do get a bit twisted for who does what better. There's simply so much less grind required to reach peak power levels in Diablo 4. Epoch requires extreme farm to get specific drops, newly improved by the 1.0 update actually where they put in factions, which will help you target farm stuff or even purchase specific items, which is great. But then the progressing of the faction system is also a massive grind itself originally, which is a big point of feedback. So that's the crux of it. For long-term grinders, it's great that the more time you spend, the more value you get. The raw grind from story end to say plus 200 corruption is a bit overly long for an incomplete build. Therefore, Diablo as designed is much more appealing to a casual player who wants to engage with everything the game has to offer, you know, in their time frame. However, what's gonna be waiting for you at the point? You can do all the sh you could probably do- uh, you get there. Well, it's really not much in Diablo 4 compared to Last Epoch's variety of your monoliths and the infinite potential if you want to go that far. The, ver the variety of monoliths, that's all he's got. And that's only monoliths. There's still, say, the arena, if you want a gauntlet-style option. Oh, shit, an arena. there's the dungeons, which scale in difficulty. What do you but mean, gauntlet-style option? The arena in Last Epoch is... How is... Let's really go in on Diablo for a second Completely here. different Last than the Epoch's gauntlet, itemization shit. design, the way you get items, the way you change them through crafting, and for God's sake, a loot filter, it's so much better. The bare minimum for an ARPG to be functional long-term, to make it, in fact, not a massive chore to interact with the item drop system, and understanding what's worth your attention to look at as an item, you know, so when a drop happens, it's relevant and exciting for you, is another massive topic I need to really stay focused on. Last Epoch's itemization is wonderful. You've got items with their implicits, the stats at the top, which massively raise in power as you get higher in level yourself. There's tons of types within each armor piece, so chess pieces might offer different things based on the base that it is, from armor, health, to DPS increasing options, and then that's compared to the affixes, which are split into two types, there's prefixes and suffixes. Basically one type is like offensive and utility picks, the other can be defensive and utility, and there's also things like experimental affix types, or you can seal affixes, all of that the is script to say isn't that good each affix actually by chat, matters, GBT. it's a lot more interesting. The majority of the affixes are going to be powerful and relevant to someone if your build is going to benefit from it. There's a lot 
less filler and padding affixes unlike you would see in Diablo 4. So yeah, I think LE's itemization is interesting and really thought out, where D4 cannot say the same. So we're praying for something special with Season 4, where they're going to be making a massive change about that. But what we're not expecting to see, which I still think is a bare minimum in Season 4, is a loot filter and a much bigger stash as well. A loot filter allows you to choose what drops are highlighted for you or just ignored, not shown to you. It means anything you do see drop with a relevant filter on is going to be important to you and you should check it. Further, you can set special highlights to, you know, highlight an item that's going to be really good and it prevents you from having to pick up every item, manually scanning every detail and then weighing up in your head if that's relevant to you or not, which you know will probably be 99.9% .9 of the items that drop will not matter to you. And you have to do that in Diablo 4, which is just mind-boggling. There is some hope though, like I say, in Season 4 with the itemization update. They're planning to actually use the codex system as a means to sort all the aspects you've stored and organize it into a higher quality of life way, instead of having to dump tons of items into your stash, which is comically too small and always has been. So now you'll be able to store the aspects into that Vegetable kind of infinite soup. storage of the codex. That's really going to be good. incredible compared to what it is now, and it is a bit comparable to the affix shard system we have in Last Epoch, except in theory, maybe even kinder. Last Epoch uses crafting as a major part of your progress, find an item with an affix on it, you can break that down to get some of the shards or all of it with a lucky removal. These can then be spent to level the strength of the affix on a piece of gear with a better setup you want to use. Instead of taking an item to a blacksmith and adding plus one to its a hole, you're specifically upgrading parts of the item, which means you can also remove specific parts not relevant or good to you and add one that is, or RNG swap them around and other mechanics. Damn it's good. brilliant and it's very kind, you just have to have the resources relevant. This is compared to Diablo's depressing enchanting system. Yeah, I, for I forgot how bad Diablo's UI is, holy fuck. Which forces you to change only one affix on an item maximum, and that one thing you Some can change, game you enjoy shit. the true RNG that is re rolling it, and it gets expensive really quick. So I love the idea that in the last epoch, I just need to gather the materials through my gameplay, by breaking down items, collecting them, finding the affixes, and I've earned the progression to put the thing I want on an item and progress that. So it's possible we'll see an improved enchanting system in Diablo 4 at some point, but God, I hope they learn from epoch on that. Okay, so for the final point, it's going to swing both ways pretty heavily. Last Epoch is so much more alt friendly and I love it. Between the loot filter allowing you to hey, filter for items you planned your alt will want while you're playing your main character or whatever, that's awesome. Or there's the fact that you have way more stash space than you're ever going to remotely need, so you're not restricted on gathering items for an ult and prepping them and storing them somewhere in a tab. And you've got the crafting system, meaning you can create the absolute peak of an item for your planned ult, even at different stages of its progress, to allow for insane blasting pretty much immediately, and that's very satisfying. You can also skip massive chunks of the campaign using dungeons and the keys you've collected. And while it's true in D4, you can also skip the campaign, you also can't. Because in the seasonal content model, you have to do that story and unlock the new seasonal powers and progress them. That's enforced every season, at least this so guy far. Just fucking also, he lets everything. you pick the faction Every early. single clip of him doing a boss, he's just like standing in the biggest characters. channel also of all time. also maintains the rep, which is going to be insane if you're, say, merchant skilled and buying specific items. So Epoch is wonderful to alts as an ARPG should be. It should be a major Holy important shit. aspect the of the game. That auction house looks lots miserable. Of quality life around. And Last Epoch just nails that. However, it definitely doesn't do a good job of letting you change builds. It has a really awkward system. And while Diablo 4 is not great at it, I do think it's actually better. I really dislike the skill leveling system in Last Epoch in terms of how punishing it is, and it feels very unnecessary. What I'm talking about is the skill trees for each skill, which in a concept is awesome. You level it, get points, spend them, all good. But when you're like, hey, I've been using this build, these skills, I'm going to try something different. Now you have to level them again. Now there is a system in place to help with that where you reach minimum levels as you progress. So when you swap, that's where it starts. But that minimum level is tied to your overall progress, meaning when you're most likely to swap skills around a lot at lower levels when you want to test stuff, you punish the most. It's a massive nerf to you if you're, say, just getting a skill to level 4 and got some big power spike to change that at that point. So what I'd like to see in Epoch around that will be minimum levels being way kinder much earlier. And when I raise a skill to, say, level 20 once, that's the new minimum for that specific skill. So let's say I'm using Javelin, it's level 20. I swap it off to something else. I swap back to Javelin. It's back to level 20 because obviously I've already earned that. Diablo, by comparison, allows for this no problem. You've got the seasonal power in your character and that's just it. You've got levels for your skill tree and your paragon. 
They're going nowhere, whatever swapping you're doing. And also, gear I mean, overlap is a lot kinder agree. in D4. I found they that in last D4, the items for builds are often hyper-specific. One Paladin yeah. build to another is unlikely to use the same items. So it's just something I found myself appreciating about Diablo. But I think those are just some of the most Does standout... Does D4 still not let you put numbers on your health Things I've been thinking about. These comparisons between the two and some of the best things I want Diablo 4 to learn from. It's exciting that D4 has relevant plans to a lot of what we talked about today. I just hope that they can look at Epoch and learn from it specifically. Diablo 4 is an extremely polished game. At a foundational level, the base can learn from it specifically. Diablo 4 is an extremely polished game. Extremely polished game. At a from it specifically. Diablo 4 is an extremely polished game. Diablo 4 is an extremely polished game. Diablo 4 is an extremely polished game. At a Diablo 4 is an extremely polished game. At Diablo 4 is an extremely Jesus polished game. Christ. At a foundational level, the base gameplay is smoother and satisfying because of that. It's that AAA development. Compared to that though, Last Epoch feels like the better game for a player invested in the ARPG genre, rather than a casual player who wants everything fast and then to move on. So in closing, Last Epoch feels like it's got a good foundation and what's been built on that is fantastic. Diablo 4 though, has the strongest foundation in the genre right now. Holy fuck. He's prior to strongest is fantastic. Diablo 4 though has the all though has all though has stick. Diablo 4 though has the strongest foundation in the genre right now. Stick. Diablo 4 though has the strongest foundation in the genre right now, at least prior to PoE 2's release. But the issue here is an unfinished mess was built upon it and it's barely held together with tape. The live service team were basically left to the wolves to resolve the major issues and add entire features that are missing that should have been there at launch. So that's my current thoughts anyway. I'll be interested to see what you guys think. This guy loves Diablo 4. Hmm, do I struggle through one more build? I don't know if I can. I don't know. Screw wow. Any Jalkers in chat? Hmm. Is Backpack Bell's bad? No, it's pretty good. I don't know if I feel like playing it right now, though. Yeah, Ripstorm is pretty fun. Hmm. Yeah, I tried Helldivers. I don't think I like it solo, though. Able to win a full run in Bellatrix? Yeah, I've won a few ones now. I think I've got it down. Nothing's jumping out to me here. It's 
something wacky. Tekken's definitely happening, I just don't know if right now. Um... Don't know. Decisions, decisions. No, it's like my fifth character. John Twitch. Um, no, I wish I wish Sentinel was better. I don't want to play a build that I'm gonna get hit a wall at 400 corruption max. What is the healing hand shit? Okay, so guys. I thought I would make a follow-up video on the one that I made recently explaining the concept of my build to show you guys exactly the character that I have and the no final setup play. that I have Very little changes. Okay, even 38. I think I just saw 38. So as you can see, uh, this has come uh, a pretty long Steel's way with, uh, with very little changes. So I'm going to go over the build, uh, how it works again, and uh, overall how to build the character and uh, how it works. Does he have a video from an app to look at his... Isn't... Karn's re-rolled though. Like, wait, I'm not scared. Shut <laughs> wait, can I just tank him? Should I tank everything? 
Rapping? Oh, I don't know if I don't play okay, some guys. I thought care if it's one button it just can't be like rude master where I have to manage my runes <laughs> that is not good in an RPG for me fuck that who had two LP chronostasis I don't know. Judgment or racing strike slam. No League of Legends. Crips bid on stack stacking. Sack stacking. Where is that? I just see Hearthstone Battlegrounds. <laughs> Stacking stats returns Hearthstone Battlegrounds. That's a login. Maybe I'll try an Erasing Strike Slammer and see how I feel. Maybe you can get tanky enough with the two hand bug.
All right, let's give it a whirl. Any jokers in chat? Hey, where'd my name go? Making a racing strike or judgment slammer. I don't know which one yet. Something that can abuse using a two-ender and a shield. That's all I know. In the beginning. Yeah, it's getting hot fixed, then I'll quit the game. Or I just will leave my game open forever and leave Steam in offline mode, so <laughs> I can't get nerfed. Easy. I mean, it's the, it's the weekend, right? Surely they don't, they don't, uh, they're not working, right? It's weekend. That wouldn't be legal. I've already played hammers before. Hammer smite is fun, but... A bow and a shield? Probably? I'm not sure though. Uh, I did an auto bomber test run. I wouldn't do it without gear pre made though. Slam Pally. I didn't die. Thanks for the 17 month 3 sub ace. I just don't like Rune Master. No bug fix today. No bug fix. They bug fix? I shit my pants. Have you seen that, um... The clip of that streamer that shoved a fork in a toaster and then it exploded and he like went flying backwards and there was a shit stain on his pants. That was pretty good. Listen, it's not as funny if you know it's fake. Just pretend it's not. The bug is two hander plus shield. Lakeside trail and reign of dragons. Ah, oh, there's no way I remember that. Thanks, though. Remember, your sergeant had to pull you down from looking at the grenade you threw? I wanted to see the explosion. You trying to get some shrapnel?
I mean, I'd want to look too. I mean, who wouldn't? The Zithara's Conundrum. What does it do? Is that the amulet with Fizz damage? Zero HP. I thought it was Fizz damage on full life. I use that with my warlock. It's pretty good. When I make the yeah. Uh, vegetable soup. Spin it with the spoon. Is this song from Metal Gear Solid? Why does it say dark? Wait, look above my mana. That's a new one. I have not seen that before. There's just a permanent item stuck there. So, dude, that that it's still there. Slam build. I thought the spoon was supposed to be good at shit.
Yeah, I'm going to racing or judgment. Yeah, well, it would be nice if I had that torch. I dropped one and didn't let me pick it up. Would be nice to have, for sure. Oh, my portal, god damn it. What movie is this from? The B movie? Yeah, this is when Barry and the lady start to have a premarital affair. What's in B movie too? What a great work of art. It is. Have you seen it? That must be why you don't remember. Is that on 7 TV, the entire B movie emote? Might have to get that. It is illegal, but it's worth it. What is I don't know what ants is. Entire B movie. <laughs> it's, just, it's like it's just a seizure.
Was Dune too good? No spoilers, but... Is it good? Dude, what is up with this dark great mace? Hey, we're watching the B-movie and chat. Racing strike or judgment, I don't know. Probably racing strike, so I would play judgment. Hey, I haven't aren't the haven't both the Dune movies done like really bad at the box office or something? Everybody says it's good, but Didn't both movies do like really bad or something? Oh, this one's good. I'm doing good. I don't know, I don't look at reviews for anything except for stream content. Looking at random people's trash opinions. Yeah, it's so stupid how trailers show, like, fucking half the movie or more. Flashes through all the major scenes in the movie. Shows the main character getting shot or something. in the game by pressing escape. Why can my hammers still not penetrate this bird? I'm throwing it in his ass and it's not penetrating. It just stops. Listen, it might sound bad, but it looks bad too. <laughs> I like how it just like <laughs> why is it over there? It's badass.
Holy shit, by rolling, it's flying around! Makes me want to play Half Sword. Weird fighter game. Tech demo, basically. You must shit and press right click at the same time. If you fail the timing, it won't work. Yeah, there should just be a passive that allows it. As it hits the water. There ain't no water, unless you're wearing water pants. Shitting in your pants, not the toilet. That'd be kind of cool, actually, you know, like, you know, water bed? What if there was water pants? That'd be pretty cool, right? Inflatable water pants. walk normally. I don't know. I mean, I guess the water depends how much you weigh.
You think you can like train your sphincter to get huge muscles and it just becomes massive? You think you could hold up a bowling ball with a butt plug and a string on it? How many years do you think it would take you to train to do that? I wonder if the person with the world's strongest asshole is alive right now, or if they're at some point in history. I'd say it's probably today. If I had to take a guess. <laughs> Measure it with the amount of weight you could hold with your ass. Worms that'll swim up your pee hole. Sounds pretty nice. unlock your faction in the first town you go to. Only one case of pee pee fish. I bet it was on purpose too. Well, I, don't, I mean, I believe it. Like, uh, the amount of times I farted and it goes up my pee hole is way too many to count. So I'd believe it with the worm.
Hammers is so nice on that boss. Yeah, you have to shit and put it in a DVD drive to boot up the bug. Nope. CD drive only. The Blu-ray still exists. How many people even still have physical media readers? I don't remember the last time I had one. Probably like... 10 years ago. Radio, well not radio, well I mean I guess radio is physical but Do new consoles have DVD drives or CD drives? They have the option Oh shit, I have to go put this bowl in the sink before it turns permanently orange because of this turmeric. I'll burp.
And does anybody know how to get turmeric stains off of stuff? Because half my kitchen is yellow. Lily Chat Chatter's Wives Meetup is postponed. Shoot. Try clit bang. Yeah, I have a feeling that won't work for getting turmeric out of countertop. No, it's not dishes. It is, uh, everything. Am I wearing these backwards? That didn't feel right. I mean, half the kitchen's yellow. Even the metal sink. The reality is it's going to stay yellow because I'm too lazy to clean it. No, the old man... Shit. Package slam jam. <laughs> hey, thanks Slitty for the twenty three thousand thirty two year resub, Miller. No problem. Cause slamming cool. Bug abuser two and slammer. I didn't think of a good name. It should have been clam slammer again. It's not nice to point out limp horns.
It means you gotta shit yourself. The tier 2 resub Alega. The rare non T1. Yeah, chat, you're on bug duty. And this sparkling water tastes weird. <laughs> oh, I guess I can erasing strike right away. Should I get crunk this week? Wow, what's wrong? Sparkling water doesn't taste weird, does this one? Every time I've played a healer in a game, I regretted it. Like, every single time. Got mail. Redeem at her pleasure a coffee or sandwich sometime. Ty for entertaining us weirdos. I don't wanna say nerds some pp I don't like that word but MK with it. You what? Hey thanks for the 420. A dream thorn. No. Shit, I got this thing. Just need a two hand sword or axe. So I can't use that. <laughs> Melee. I need to repaint my nails. I'm thinking baby diarrhea green. It's 
fitting for springtime. Oh no, that's neon green cog. Easter egg hunting stream. No. Last time the Easter Bunny oh. came here, didn't go good, so I don't think I'm allowed to go Easter egg hunting anymore. Why the fuck does Easter have eggs anyways? A bunny and eggs? What kind of bunny lays eggs? Ah yes, rabbits known for laying eggs. Right, an Easter platypus would be sick. Oh, is it European rabbits that lay eggs? That makes sense. Isn't the PoE League gonna be Easter weekend? Starter testing for PoE with the same three starter builds that have been the starters for the last three years? Yeah, probably. I do actually want to do a, well, I'm not going to play it, but I want to make a tornado shot runs because people still seem to think going it right away is bad. It was pretty smooth, actually. It's looking like a juicer.
The Grimdon badge are remove potions and buff activation. Uh, is that recent? I don't know. Ice cream bar cookies. Oh, I can go for some goldfish. I haven't had goldfish in a long ass time. Pizza flavor is pretty old for goldfish. Definitely been out for at least 20 years. Birdfish, man. A swimming pool full of goldfish. What does real goldfish taste like? I think it tastes good. Probably not that good. I have the fortune after saying him left the dungeon because he didn't understand how it works. <laughs> I hope it wasn't a good item. <laughs> yeah, well, you won't forget that now. My my friend's house I used to go to, they had a koi fish pond. I'm not sure how those fish survived with us around. Surprising. Did you know you could create a permanent stain on your driveway? If you take a hot dog, put it in chocolate milk, throw it outside, come back to it after about three months, and then smear it. 
comes some kind of permanent discoloring paste on concrete. Speaking from experience. You like being OP? Warlock. Or torment, probably torment. I don't know who has a good guide for it. I know there's one from the curse guy from YouTube, but yeah, torment. There's the curse self-ignite guide on YouTube. You can look that up. I don't know if it's, um, I don't know if he has a portion of it for not using the uniques that he's included, but. I have no mana! I don't know what the chance is, but I've gotten one. So pretty low. Pretty low. And the one I got was ultra shit rolls. I'm pretty sure they said they're gonna patch it. So, yes. Which they shouldn't, because they said they're only gonna nerf things based on if they're killing the servers or not, but that they said they're gonna hotfix this one. They better not.
confident vibe. I have no mana! Is this a, t a Twilight song? I don't know, is it? Great movie, by the way. Greatest movie of my generation. I'm not mentally prepared to watch Twilight right now. Gotta spend a day prepping for that. The woman actor name? Uh, Bella Thorne. I don't know. What is it? Don't tell me! Don't tell me, it's on the tip of my tongue. So the name is char- the name of the character is- I SAID DON'T TELL ME! It's Jeanette McCurdy. Bella Twilight. Actor, just tell me the actor. Wait. Kristen Stewart? I thought that was the... the Christmas lady. She was in Twilight too? that sings that Christmas song. No, Martha Stewart. Oh no, it's Martha Stewart, not Kristen Stewart.
Hello, Lily. Hey, thanks for the two month year resub fail. Three days. Alright, screw up. Hammers. God damn it! Just get out of here. Is there a filter? This is filter off. And hey, there's a lot of people with the last name Stewart. This is going to be interesting. Kristen Stewart go to jail? Or is that Martha Stewart? Both they shared a cell together. What website did you see that on? Holy shit, my mana sucks. Hey, 
Hey, that'd be a good unique. Mana socks, and it's a leveling unique, and it gives you a bunch of mana. I'm in. Great idea. Dylan is a gender neutral name. You see this filter? That's what I think of that. That's bullshit. No way. That's <laughs> who Kristen Stewart is engaged to. Oh shit. Ah, oh, but this. Thanks for the two month prime easy bot. I guess I'm stuck with shitty mana regen. Well, I could go like, oh. I can't get a part of looking at you. I don't know what that means. She just wants moral support.
slapping. Hey, multi strike doesn't really hit multiple times, does it? Uh, the claw? I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? You mean blessed? What is this? Sleepy babby time? Holy shit dude, this is bad. I'd rather be sleeping than playing this right now. Should I get McDonald's today and regret it? Because I will regret it. Cause McDonald's fucking sucks, but I could go for some. Or should I get Taco Bell? I don't know, it's pretty tempting. Big Mac Deluxe. Amador's in the stony lonesome. She can't stop me now. DoorDash is up to $15 off right now. That'll make it only twice the price of going there normally. <laughs> what a deal. Burger King is definitely better than McDonald's now. Without a doubt. No, not true. McDonald's used to be the best. By far. 
It was shit, but it was a good shit. Nuggets aren't even good at McDonald's. Wendy's Nuggies are the best Nuggies. Burger King Nuggets when they came as like lightning bolts and shit, those were pretty good. But Wendy's is the is the king right now for sure for nuggets. Isn't Tim Horns a coffee place? Is any fast in? 16 year old at the counter. It's random, like, kind of quality, isn't it? Yet? That's the scary thing about fast food. None of them are paid enough to give a shit what the hell they're giving you. Like that one time I got the brown Sprite. And it wasn't brown because it was mixed with Coke, it was brown because the cup was molding. Premium Sprite, uh... Fair enough. Chipped a tooth at BK once. That's pretty good. It's beef. Oh shit, seaweed snacks. Dude, I do no fucking damage. Oh, 
I'm pumping. You did not have McDonald's. This one's from Big Mac? What did you say? Thorn Ivan. Two toasts. What the fuck? Is two toasts from McDonald's. migration thing on Steam. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I mean a while ago and they deleted their standalone client, I guess, yeah. That was a long ass time ago though. Um, I think the seaweed snacks are probably better than the pizza party. I think it's the prime urn brew. Bug is two ender with offhand. Thanks. I want sushi.
That's not lame. It shouldn't even be a bug. It should be a passive point for Sentinel that gives you able to use two-hander with a shield. I don't know why. I don't know why more games don't have this. I want to dual wield two handers in games. No, no, let me. Yeah, dual wielding shields is good too. It doesn't taste like vomit, it's pretty good. Hmm, maybe soon pre-made, maybe soon. I'm working on it. There's a lot of content to process for the D4 gauntlet. It's gonna be at least a three hour video. Lots of stuff to do. I'm surprised that's not moldy. Forgot that was there. Milk and orange soda? Um, if you drink it before the cheese forms, it's not bad. You have to make sure you drink it before the cheese forms, though. You got, like, a one-second window. You gotta pump it. No, Mountain Dilk is... Well, okay, Mountain Dilk tastes like Fruit Loops. But it's the same thing, you gotta eat it before the cheese forms, you know? Mountain Dilk, definitely not a bad milk soda combo. Racing strike. Speaking of chunky, I got something special cooking up. It's banana bread in a jar, but formed from a liquid. For banana bread. Uh, 
I don't know, do you think the void stinks? I mean, the void probably doesn't smell like anything. If I were just to take a guess. All right, one more level and I'm gonna start to pop off. Surely. Leveling two-hander? Uh, no. I'm using some shitty rare. Which I can probably forge up. Or not. Like, you can't use a mace with this, it's two-handed sword or axe. Although, I probably should have been using it. Until I get the crit node. The beachware. Just log into Dead or Alive, you ever play that game? I haven't. Wow, melee is so good in this game. Look at that. I just can't go near him for five seconds. I'm ramping though. Just one more level, and my damage is gonna pop off. Surely.
Uh, let's see what I got. If I can swap anything out here. Any jalkers in j <laughs> No League of Legends. I was just checking. Um, can this stupid hair just stop being stupid? Thanks. Always abuse bugs. Oh, I could put this shield on now. Do I have a good one? Doesn't look like it. Melee damage with five more upgrades. Fifteen. Well, let's give it a whirl. I'm making a build. Yes. Deal with the bug. Two ender shield. No, I have to make another filter? It's over. Forgot about that. Well, that's a task for future me. It should be a feature. It should just be a passive node. Change guild, you lose progress? I don't think so. No. Dude, I got a little shield buddy running with me. Check it out.
I wouldn't call this blasting. This is my worst leveling I've done yet, and I'm in full leveling gear. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous how bad some things are compared to others for leveling. Like, I think it is somehow worse than PoE. Can be any offhand. True, Klez. Thanks for bringing that up again. Diablo 4 super fan. Holy shit, my damage! Alright, here we go, about to pop off. <coughs> With that level. Here we go! Yep, popping off. There we go. Mathel's video? No. About what? Last Epoch? Or bad? No. Must have missed that one. I don't, know, I don't really watch YouTube. I'm not a huge fan of YouTube content. Every time I try and watch a YouTube video, my eyes just glaze over. I mean, it's not even short attention span, I just feel like most videos are not in a great format. Like, 98% of YouTube videos, I could either spend 8 minutes watching it, or 30 seconds reading something. Stretched out for the ad money.
Damn it, my water is flat. <laughs> it looks so stupid how my shield just... This is off in its own little world over there. I mean, you could use like shield charge or something. I don't know. I like lunge. It's okay. Well. It's not the best, but it's all right. I have no idea what this skill does. I'm gonna press it though. I didn't do anything to my hair now. Holy shit, my damage is bad! When does it get good? When I get the stupid axe? Christ. It's possible by increasing my HP. I mean, Warlock leveling was okay too, and that was with no leveling gear. That can be more, probably. Well, that's pretty good. Why does it still say Dark Great Mace above my mana? <laughs> Is I just gonna be there till I log out? I guess so. Yeah, I guess it's a really great mace.
thanks the for big the big five 50. Zero. Hey, that's a juicer. 50 year reset. I don't know, that build just didn't feel good. I just don't like Rune Master. It's not a Rune Master enjoyer. Nice that it's gonna be period of play now. Um, it'll be nice once they fix this game and it's not a buggy piece of shit where you can't play a single build without encountering some kind of game breaking bug, but uh. Yeah, it'll be nice and uh. I give it. about a year or two. That's pretty, uh, it's pretty ridiculous. I don't know, I don't know if this or Power World is more buggy, actually, to be honest. It's pretty darn close. I think it's pretty darn close. I'd say Pal World edges out this game a little bit for bugs. Yeah, Power World was pretty funny at first, but by the time I hit like the 40 hour mark, I was kind of losing my mind. And by kind of, I mean like, I was really losing my mind. <laughs> okay, the T-Pose flying bug was sweet though. That was a good bug. Yeah, the base bugs were the worst. When your fucking Pokemon pals, whatever they are, would just- you'd come back and there'd always be like three of them just dead. For no reason. play Power World again when they fix it, but I'm, I'm good for now. <laughs> it 
was definitely fun though. they fix it. Is that better? I don't know. Playing on hard mode with the four times damage taken was pretty, uh, pretty hard. I felt like 2.5 times was the sweet spot. But the game has so many bugs, it's kind of ridiculous to play it at that difficulty if you're not just doing it for content <laughs> or something. I don't know. Pal World definitely scratched my Pokemon itch, though, since I don't actually like Pokemon games, but sometimes I still get the itch. It was good for that. Oops. My mana! That's a lot of mana. Cool down with two inch sword, two inch axe area.
Must resist the urge for fast food. It's rising. I shouldn't. It's gonna be bad. But what if it's not? It could be a mean feed, but it's probably going to be a sad, sloppy, cold feed. Sad, sloppy, and cold. Tuesday night. Forty seven for this thing. Why it shit? I think so. Oh, the sword thing? No. I'm pretty sure no. Let me, let me see. I just need the damage.
Alright, soon I will be doing damage for sure. Future strike. Alright, the slam is pretty satisfying though. Oh, I could use a little. Maybe if I turn it up. Hmm. Yeah, judgment has a better sound. I log into Tekken when I finish leveling. The bug where I equip a two-handed sword and a shield. Middle school song. Yeah, it's because it's Saturday. Cause it's a magic shield, look at it. Oh no, this guy is gonna take 25 minutes. Actually, didn't seem too bad. Okay, not, not too bad. Cooldowns rough. Block chance cap? I think you can get it all the way to a hundred. It's not like PoE block, it doesn't mitigate all the damage. I'll be back.
Should I, now I want to listen to the Carl version. It's actually better than this version. Because you have to shit so you can force it into place. Alright. Um. I think it's Tekken time. Time to embarrass myself. Last Epoch Cloud Error. That's not good. Steam Cloud Error. That's not good. Maybe I'll be free if my shit gets corrupted. Wow, this is gonna be weird playing on a keyboard. What? When I, I change it, I move it over here and then I click my other monitor and it moves back. Um... What is this control scheme is trying to make me press it on my numpad? What numpad for to confirm? What in the world? I mean, if, uh... A keyboard's not much different than a hitbox, right? Benchmark score 576. Yeah, that's how much I bench. I don't know. Oh, it's 15 limit? Um... It just le lets me keep going? Hold on. Oh, it has a limit. <laughs> Chow King King. Too many. <laughs> I'm not beef toothpaste. 
Oh shit! Okay. Yeah, I'll roll with that. Uh, does this game have DMCA music? Get the fuck out of here. I can't use my mouse? Oh god. This is gonna be interesting. Does... Oh my god. Does Tekken 8 have DMCA music? Can I move it back over? Oh, it's not letting me move it back over. Uh oh. Um. One. Oh, got it. I got it. Oh, this is gonna be incredible. Why? Every time I click my other monitor, it moves the game over. I'm working on it. Oh god. Borderless. Perfect. Um... Is this game locked at 60 FPS? That might be a refund right there. <laughs> that might be a refund. Maybe it's Tekken, but it's 2024. Any other options? I don't know what the fuck it did with my keybinds. Keyboard settings one. Oh god, I don't know if keyboards deploy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Numpad. This is gonna be interesting. Hmm. Oh, 
boy. I just need to figure out the controls. My main is, I haven't played this game for 20 years. Almost not an exaggeration. Oh wait, this isn't gonna be it. Oh god. Shit, this isn't what I wanted. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Okay, J and K are kicks. Cool. I need my keyboard. Why is it? Oh, there we go. Wait, no. I do. I have to go to the main menu for keyboard buttons. I thought O did something, but I guess not. Record, no. Alright, JKUI. Oh, I gotta go back. Get me out of here. How do I get out of here? I, I don't know how I open the menu. B. Ball. Alright, let's see. No, not controller. Buttons? Button maddening? Okay. Okay, so O and P is bumpers, L and that is triggers. Okay. My controller is shit. My controller is unplayable with anything that requires any precise kind of shit. My controller is the cheapest thing I ordered or could have found on Amazon. It is not good. I don't I mean I don't mind playing with keyboard. It's just gonna take some getting used to. I mean I played I played Smash with keyboard mostly, so. Now I've never played a real fighting game on keyboard. That's all controller, so this is gonna be interesting, but Is there a... is there a tutorial mode? Where it'll tell me the buttons so I can get the muscle memory? Arcade quest. While learning about tech and eight battles. Alright, fair enough. Well, practice was just like the beating up a dummy. I want something to tell me the button so I can get it in my head.
What the fuck is this? <laughs> Why did you just make me open? Was that a Half-Life sound? Dude, what is this? Words become redundant when simply playing a match together tells a thousand tales. This is your story. What is this? Why did you make me open? Why do the characters look like this? What? <laughs> Why do I look like a 90s dude who would like be overdosing on heroin? <laughs> is there a random button? Dude, what is this? It's Logan Paul? Oh shit. What is this? You can feel the electricity in the air. No! I didn't read it! Whatever, it's fine. It said something about Get tutorials. For the next battle. Jake versus Paul. Wait a minute. That's Paul? That's not what Paul looks like. What the fuck was that? That wasn't Paul. Wait, why does he look like that? I don't have a controller, you stupid game. He's supposed to have tall hair. Why does it- I'm not using a controller! I'm not using a controller, dude. What is the ro- oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm not using a controller. I don't want a controller though. Like Souls games. Great. 
Not a huge controller enjoyer. Oh, I gotta change the YouTube title. The YouTube settings are so scuffed. Sometimes it lets me press the buttons and sometimes it doesn't. Pressing it. Perfect. Got a pill to come in there, I don't know, you just mix it and yeah, you drink it easy. Delicious. Oh, not this shit again. Get ready for the next battle. No. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be. Uh, should I go get bodied and? Should I go get bodied in online mode? Oh, yeah. oh. I don't know. Should I do one? Do one and get owned? Wait, what the fuck is special style? No! What is that? What was that? Wait. What was it? Okay, it doesn't ask anymore. Easy inputs. Auto combo such one button specials. Hey, why do they let you do that? No panda. Where are you? I, I click no, right? Press B on the controller. Wait, this is an online mode. What the? Huge, gonna be ranked. This is gonna go good. Calculate your starting rank in tech and prowess. Alright. Hey, 
This menu's kinda laggy. Alisa Bosconovich. She looks kind of weird in this one. Get ready for the next battle. I don't remember how to get the swords out. Is it pressing like this? Oh. It wasn't that. Hey, he's not even doing anything. How are they measuring my rank? I've got easy mode on. Wait, what the fuck's happening? Wait, what is this? Wait, why? Turn this shit off! My keys are doing random shit! How do I turn it off? Pop up in the- my Tekken prowess is- Oh god. L1. What is L1 on a keyboard? Uh oh. Dude, I'm gonna go against some fucking kid playing with a straw through his mouth because he lost all his limbs in a car accident based how this is going. O or P? Oh, I think he's a dick. I think so. Okay, cool. Oh, shit, now I'm all screwed up. It's over. What's the pause button? My earbud! I'm all messed up now. I was doing much better in the, uh... Oh, hell yeah. I'm about to go against the game playing with the straw. Alright. Maybe... Don't get me out of here. Maybe I should, uh... Go here for a minute. <laughs> Listen, that 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 gave me the frazzles. That that got me all messed up. No Kuma. Why do so many people play Kuma in this one? That's all people ever talk about. Get 
ready for the next battle. Hey, where's the editor so I can give her huge honkers? With a watermelon bikini. That's what I really need to be doing right now. IJK? I think so. Yeah, where's the... Holy shit, you can even see the- Dude, imagine! You can see the huge jiggle through her shirt. Now imagine if she had a huge watermelon bikini on. That'd be nuts. There's no way I'm gonna remember any of this shit. Yeah, you can play with keyboard, but it doesn't tell me what the keyboard keys are. Well, I got it, but... Hey, they got cool noises. Alright, I'm just gonna go get bodied, I think. You ready? Well, should I do a prediction? Raina cool? Should I play her? Who should I play? It really doesn't matter cuz uh... I don't remember any combos. Yeah, robot girl's here. Looks kind of weird in this game to me, though. No bear. The other person got bodied by the bot as well. Hey, you don't know that. Uh, Wait, what is this? What? Am I in the wrong spot again? Uh oh, that's not good if I can't even find. Wait. It... Um, is that just for the practice? Uh, 
Tsuyami Shiba. Mm. Wait, why am I... Is this just for... Get ready for the next what? battle. Why isn't it... Oh, okay. Here we go. Get ready for the next battle. Time to die. Tekken power 6,000, but mine's only 100. Don't miss me winning. Uh oh. I don't remember the keys. I don't remember the keys. I only know the base four. Round one. Fight. Oh no, I'm not gonna get a single hit. It's over, dude. What are my... I don't remember what the triggers or the bumpers are. Shit. Oh, I had my hands on the wrong keys. Shit on again. Get that off. Why does that keep happening? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I do need to unbind that. Wrong button. Shit. Shit. Okay, I need to unbind that key pronto. Button mapping. Okay, I think it's that one. How do I rebind it? Uh, numpad nine. What? The, what? The, the... Okay. I'll never press that. Alright. No!
Um, having a hot key for one plus two. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I think the I think my rage key is P. Get ready for the next battle. Sometimes I rage when I pee. Get ready for the next battle. Oh shit, Snoodle, seventeen thousand power. Wait, I have thirty-eight hundred. How does this shit work? I got, I lost every round. <laughs> round one. Fight. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna go good. Words. All right, this is a fast one. Oh, I had my hands on the wrong keys again. my hands on the wrong keys again. Yeah, I don't know that one. Oh shit, plus zero. I'm ramping. Rematch, all right. He's going down this time. Round one. Fight. Fight! <laughs> 
Oh, I know why I'm losing, because I have a hundred ping. That's why. Yeah, it feels pretty good for a hundred ping, though. How do I grab? I was doing it and now I forgot. Oh, you can only rematch twice? I thought it was both punches, but then it wasn't working. Alright, so I should probably... Holy shit, my keyboard. Num3 and P. What the hell? Alright. Best of three max. Oh. Alright. That'd be funny though. Oh, well, can they message me? Get ready for I get some angry battle. gamer messages? That doesn't grab. One and three. Oh. Combo challenges. Oh. Let's say Gustavo. Quickly you can do it. Oh, it pops it up. That's pretty nice. Are those not the same keys? I, add, I will have it on for the next fight if I can figure it out. Don't you worry. Oh, the prediction. Dude, why can't it tell me the keyboard keys? It'd be so much easier. Oh, wrong one. How is that supposed to hit? Oh.
Oh, that guy is sick. Yeah, Mokujin. <laughs> Wait, what? Who was it? There was like. I think it was a tournament or something, and one of the commentators had like a nude mod on or something. Can I go back? V plus num three. Jesus Christ. <laughs> v plus num three. Can they just give me the keyboard keys? At this rate, I should just use a controller. I'm holding myself back. No, they are in a diamond. <laughs> but it's still, my brain doesn't compute instantly. Oh, the clip of the naked guy? The problem is my keyboard isn't in a diamond shape. Watch it do it. V U. It means that NSFW warning. Oh, the naked thing? I don't know. Alright, I've reached my limit. J I K M. Oh, fuck that. Double tap forward first, then hit the button. My experience with fighting games is I played them 20 years ago when I was five years old.
I can't read that shit. Basic forward two is a move. Forward forward two is a different move. Forward 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 two is a different different move. Right as you hit. Press forward once and forward and two at the same time. Why is that happening in oh wrong keys? Oh shit. No way I'm doing that again. I wish there'd be a button to like that. I, that it, it lets me choose to go forward. I'm losing it. Five year watch streak. Holy, this numpad three, dude. I just want to do it three times in a row. And it's gonna happen. Oh, 
or not. Uh, I don't think you ever have to play on the other side in this. Yeah, that's not happening. I'll just take the loss. <laughs> yeah, that that's a GG at that point. That one's way easier than the last one. Is she OP or something? Alright, now I can't do it.
live streamer Tekken tournament. Yeah, well, no, I won't do good if there's no then no dead. That's true. <laughs> character. I thought that was Street Fighter. This game has a feet character too? Oh shit, I play it. Okay, but uh... Here's the real thing. Can I do this? Huge bazookas coming out. <laughs> no bikini. What do you mean? Holy shit, the fucking key binds are so scuffed. Get me out of here. Oh, holy shit, dude. Numpad 3 is my favorite key. Get ready for the next battle. First DLC character. Sorry, they don't have it.
I supposed to hit him on time? <laughs> Wait for the legs to fall. Then he's on the ground. I'm free. Holy fuck, I'm gonna lose it. Oh, wrong key. I had my hands in the wrong spot. Fucking keyboard. school memory. Alright, well, time to go get bodied. Nope, get me out of here. Nope, get me out of here. Yeah, I played one person and lost immediately. And now I'm gonna play another person and lose immediately. I don't remember anything.
for the next battle 42,000 S plus goal oriented it's over round one fight <laughs> oh this is a total GG Close one. What the hell? What are you gonna take her shoes off? I'm working on it. Improvement or something, or I got lucky. <laughs> Mine is zero. Round one, fight. <laughs> Nut cruncher. Round two. Fight. <laughs> Holy 
boy. I'm going in, dude. side well, I guess that means he's on the wrong side too holy shit I won that's a world first oh can I get the series Promotion match! Oh no. I'm gonna crack under the pressure. Here we go, two more. Fight. Oh, wrong keys! It's alright, I'm taking them out. I keep doing that by accident. I keep pressing the uh, raid shit on the wrong key. No, I did it again. Oh no. You think he's a furry under his pants? Num pad three. Too much pressure. Ten thousand dollar prize on the line. Yoshimitsu. No. 
Yeah, this isn't gonna go good. Get ready for the next battle. No panda, no kuma. Oh, I think I was pressing the wrong key. Oh, I'm still pressing the wrong key. That doesn't help me. Looking at all that shit, my eyes get jumbled. Maybe it'll help backseaters though. Why doesn't that count? I go from Wait, I did it? How'd I do it? I wasn't even looking at the screen. Wait, is that the trick? I just stopped wait. Huh? How did I get here? Is that the strat? Combo. Fine. You want a Kuma game? Kuma. Kazuyami Shima. Get ready for the next battle. This is not gonna go well. Get ready for the next battle.
That is true. You would never be a bear with martial arts. Fight! Started kind of good. He's on console, everybody knows console gets back. Switch. His promotion, not mine. Yeah, how can he even hit me? He's just got hands. Oh, I have my hands on the wrong keys. What if I took all my keep caps out? Get ready for the next battle. Wait, I don't want to play this stupid bear again. Jack looks kind of sick in this one. Kazuyami Shima, Azu Sena, Jack Eight, Kazuyami Shima. Get ready for the next battle.
They're going down. They're too scared to fight me. He's too scared. Oh, never mind. Had to ponder whether it was worth his time to get defeated so easily. Get ready for the next battle. Respectful. Happy birthday. <laughs> He's so out of place here. Hey, they're not here. Oh no, they're doing mind games. My hands can shift to the wrong keys and I still beat you them. Easily defeated. Round three. Fight. Can I pick up the llama and chuck it at her? That not hit. Dude, that was in her face. Final I think she was uh, sandbagging. Close one, close one. Holy shit, can I get that gun out? Judy Chop. Not the perfect. Round two. Fight. See, my hand was in her face. Wrong buttons, wrong buttons. No. I don't know how I did that, but... Fight! <laughs> 
Wait! No, I thought it was over. Promoted, I'm the greatest of all time. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm rich. Yeah, I don't know how I did that. D's Lily D's Lily D's Lily D's Lily D's Lily D's Lily And thanks for the 22 year resub Kanye Get ready for the next battle A gamer pad, also known as a keyboard. You got mail. You earned it against Cheesy Boy with early Halloween face mask. Enjoy a coffee slash sandwich slash drink whenever. The next battle. Hey, thanks for the 420. Rock on. Hey, that guy has a cool skin. I'm gonna, this is not gonna go good. Your fate is already decided. Round one. Fight. Oh, that is kind of sick. Oh no, wait, how do I get the special shit on? Wait, wait, oh, he's using the special shit. Oh, that's awkward. Say I'm working. Okay, I don't know. I'm a fan of this character. Round four. Fight. Oh my god. Fight. 
Cheese and Swedish. How do I get out of her shitty stance? There's hair in my mouth. Monkey. Oh, I, I have hair in my mouth. Shit. Who should I play? Someone choose. First come, first serve. Really? Feet girl, I guess. <gasps> How are you played the bear? The next battle. But she's not even wearing feet, she has shoes on. Hey, he's not even a furry. Round one. 
Fight! <laughs> Wrong keys. Lemons. You can tell just from looking at it. You've got the feet of vision. Round three. Fight. I fucked up! Alright. You win. Well I'm not I'm not wasting my time learning the combos of everyone when I can try them and see if I completely hate them or not first. You're crazy if you think I'm gonna go through and try the combo of every single character before I even log into the game. You're nuts. Round one, fight! <laughs> That true? Mine is zero. Plus zero. 
All right, here we go. I'm gonna pull it out here. Round one, fight. <laughs> Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, I pressed the wrong button again. How do you expect me to not mash when I can't even figure out what buttons to press? No shit. I'd say a solid 30% of the time my hands are on the wrong buttons. Get ready for the next battle. I can't stat check my way through these games. Fuck the bear. Kazuyami Shima. Get ready for the next battle. Yeah, the bear's the best, that's why you're fucking him. For the next battle. Is that the same guy? I don't know, I'm just trying Round to get one. a feel for each character before I choose one. Four. Five. 
Glasses. It's a dog leave time. That's a good experience. I will raid Bishol, yeah. <laughs> Think you'll notice? <laughs> 